Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructive play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG and I am here to bring you another Magic the Gathering video. Today we are doing a Ravnica Allegiance ranked draft. Uh, we are going to go through the draft first, I am going to then cut off the draft, update the deck list, that way you guys can all see it at home, and then we'll upload a second video. Maybe I'll keep it all one video. But either way, we're going to see how long this uh, league is first. And we're going to go through and draft some Ravnica Allegiance. This is a ranked draft. And I think... Going through the cards here. Depose Deploy is pretty strong. This Frenzied is pretty strong. But I think overall the Gruul Spellbreaker is just better than both of those. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Gruul Spellbreaker. And now I think we're just, uh, we're either going to be in um, red, green, blue. I like to kind of, with the Ravnik, or with the Arena drafts, I like to kind of stay in as many colors as I can early. Just kind of hold to my colors. So I think we're going to start with the Zur. The Zur or the Frilled Mystic, I think, are the two most powerful in this pack. The Zur is not as powerful in draft because it's only a 2 2, but it has Riot, so it comes down as a 3 3. But this Frilled is very good if we're going Bant. And I don't want to. I don't want to limit us to like red green right away so I'm gonna start with this Frilled Mystic because we do have the possibility of going like Bant or just straight green blue look at the top four cards of your library reveal a creature or land card from among them put them on top put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order alright so that's a little bit of mana fixing but can also find a threat late game so that's card advantage. Oh, it's not. Because you put it on top. Hmm. I think I'm okay with taking Steeple Creeper here. The other one I'm debating is Scavenger. And possibly also this Blade Juggler. So we kind of got to think about what we have so far. If we're going... If we're going Jund or if we're going, you know, towards the uh, Teamer route. Uh, teamer is red, green, blue, and uh, Jund is black, red, green. And this Scavenger is a really powerful card. But this Blade Juggler is card advantage for one life. I think I'm going to take the juggler. Alright, now that we've done that, we... We have a Simic Guild Gate here, in case we're going Simic Colors. Uh, we have also Quench, which is kind of nice. Torrent's really good late game. Uh, this Archway Angel's not bad, but we're not in... We're not in white yet, so I don't want to spread us out too thin. Uh, we have... Uh, Demise here, which is a good card. So I think people, being that we have this Gruul Spellbreaker and the Blade Juggler, I think we're more likely to go towards the Jund route. So I think I'm going to take Demise here. There's Carnage, which is also a good card. We also have Gate Colossus in this pack. And we have Fiend. We also have another Demise here. 
I think I'm going to take the Carnival Carnage here. I think that card's just extremely powerful for what we're doing. Cry of the Carnarium is interesting. Undercity's Embrace is pretty good. We have a Titan Brawl, which is good in our uh, deck as long as we keep getting some Riot cards. And we also have a Gruel Guild Gate. So we have one removal spell so far. So this is a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we don't really have a feel of how our deck looks yet. I think I want to take this Embrace. So we have a Mockery here. We also have another Embrace. We have a Growth Spiral, but we kind of moved away from the blue. Alright, we're going to take another Embrace here. Alright, so some powerful cards in this pack. We have Vampire. Th these aren't like super powerful, but they're at least playable. Uh, the Vampire here. We're, de we're definitely in black at this point. Um, Breaststrider here is playable. Root Snare is not a bad card. And also Transport. Um, I think I just want the Vampire, though. And we also have Open the Gate for Mana Fixing. I think I want the Vampire here. Alright, this pack doesn't give us too much. I think the pick is the Ractus Locket. Um, there's another Ractus Locket here, but I don't think that's what we want. I think we're going to take uh, the Blade Brand here. Alright, Scavenger I think is this pick. And... A nice crocodile right here but i think we have to go with the removal spell at this point maybe we just come be become black red depending on how the next uh, few packs shake up all right so we're going to take one in our color here uh we'll take twilight panther we'll move that to the side and we'll put portal on the side oh and another gruel spell breaker in our second pack here yeah, I mean, they're not legendary. I think that's just the pick. Uh, why is this in here? Why don't we start going uh, teamer? Alright, we're definitely black heavy. We have these two, gr uh, two gruel spell breakers that we'd like to be able to use. But we have Bell Haunt here in this pack, and that's very... A very good card in limited and in constructed. We also have Simic Ascendancy, but I don't think at this point we're playing Ascendancy. Uh, we also have Acrobat here and Scorchmark, which are both good cards in red green. We also have a bit of mana fixing. Part of me wants to take the Gruel Guild Gate here because I don't I don't know how many uh, gates are gonna wield. Folly is a good card as a one of. Um, in best of one, it can be good. It could just be a dead card also. So we don't want to we don't really really want to rely on Volley here.
I think my pick is the Gruul Guild Gate. I think we kind of lock into Mardu here. Not Mardu, Jund. And then our picks just have to be careful from this point on. Uh, so we have Drill Bit up here. We have another Blade Juggler. Uh, we have a Gruul Beast Master, which is a good card. I think that is what we take here. I'm not really seeing too many other cards really appealing. It's Beastmaster or Blade Juggler, and I think Beastmaster is just more powerful. There's another uh, Carnival Carnage, but I don't think that's the pick here. Plague Ray is pretty good. Demon's not bad. If we gather a couple of these gathering, Goblin Gatherings, they're not bad either. Um... I think I take the plague right here as like an early threat. I'm gonna move this blade brand to the side for the moment. So there's wilderness reclamation, there's an acrobat. I'm gonna move Frilled Mystic here. There's another Gruel Guild Gate. I think there's things to pick here though. Beast is pretty okay. I think a 5 2 for 3 mana is good, but I think the Beast can just be a late game powerhouse. I think that's the pick. Here. All right, we have Inheritance here, Act of Treason, a Vampire, or a Transport. I think Inheritance is just the best pick. There's a Blade Juggler, but we also have a Runner here. I really think we're Heavy Black at this point. I think the Blade Juggler is just better. So, Gateway Plaza is not bad, the mana fix, but we also have this Runner. And we have a Root Snare, but I'm not too interested in that. I think we're going to take this Gateway Plaza. I'm really worried about getting mana, having mana issues. We have a lot of 3 mana, 4 mana cards. I don't think there's anything we can do about that though. I'm going to take this uh, Bush Strider. Uh, we'll take the Dead Rebel. I think it's the drill bit here. Right, we're going to take Goblin Gathering here because I don't really think Dead Revel. I don't think we want a second one because a lot of our CMC is pretty high. I don't really think we want another Carnival. I'm going to take Goblin Gathering here, and we're going to just grab this Wilderness uh, Reclamation, grab a Vampire here, and we'll take this Watchful Giant, Zagana. So Zagana is a good card, but not one we're interested in. This is an Act of Treason effect. But then we also just have Act of Treason. Hmm. We might just rare draft this as a Ghana. I don't think there's anything in this pack we really want.
Maybe the scavenger. Yeah, I can see grabbing the scavenger. I guess we're going to pass on the Sagana. I'm going to grab the scavenger here. Each player discards all cards in their hand and creates that many 2-2 two -two zombies. Alright, I don't think I'm interested in that. We have this Gruel Guild Gate. Which isn't bad. We also have this Rubble Slinger. And we don't have any way to block flying at the moment. But it's another 3 drop. We also have this Death Toucher. And there's a Rubble Recluse here. Maybe it's just the Recluse. It's one of these three cards. It's either the Grill Guild Gate, the Rubble Recluse, or the Slinger. Hold on one second, everyone. My HVAC system's kicking off. Alright, sorry about that. It might kick on here for a minute before it turns off. Uh, I think we take the Rubble Slinger here. I want the Recluse, but... I don't know, maybe we just go beat down. Let's take the Recluse. Let's just uh, be wild. Ah, we made the wrong decision. Uh, Stony Strength's not bad. Ram's okay, but we don't have enough. We don't have enough guild gates. Open the gates isn't bad. We can mana fix a little bit. I guess if I'm worried about mana fixing, gate's probably the best one. Now I think we get some early beatdown contenders. I think I take gravel here. Uh, Trumpeteer is not bad. It's a good blocker and a late game. I think the play here is just take uh, Roustabout. Alright, Rubble Slinger. Yeah, we're going to have to cut a lot of cards here. It's either a Plague Raid or Rubble Slinger. I think it's just Rubble Slinger to block flyers. I don't mind the Carrion Imp here. And we'll take this Active Treason, but we're not going to play it. I think I like the mana fixing here more than anything else. Stony Strength. I guess Mockery might make the cut. Uh, we'll take another Drill Bit here. I guess we'll put this Crocodile main board, or I mean sideboard, and Infiltrator. Alright, let's build this deck. So I'm going to start by just cutting cards I don't think are going to make it. I think we can live without that. This is okay. Where are the chances we just go red, black? What if we just cut all the green? What's our deck look like? It probably looks worse. 
All right, Imp's good. I don't think I want Dead Rebel. I can probably live without that. What do we cut here? We definitely want Gruel Beastmaster in here. I don't know if we need this Rakdos Locket. I think we have plenty to do. I don't think we want these vampires. We're very black heavy. Maybe we don't want this to open the gate. I can see cutting the stony silence also. I can see playing this wrecking beast. But I don't think... I don't think we want the stony silence. Or stony strength, I mean. I don't know. Removal's not bad. We just don't want to draw a bunch of clunky spells, and I feel like we can have hands like that. So maybe I don't want... Tar pit. I think our opponent's going to be on the defensive most of the time. Maybe it's just stony strength at that point. Make sure we hit our mana. I think I can live without everything else. We have a couple draw spells. Uh, we have. We're pretty much just a low to the ground. Not low to the ground, but we're pretty much just an aggro deck looking the curve out. I can see actually cutting the carnage for something maybe like the inheritance being we're so aggressive, but I think carnage is just too good. Alright, we're gonna play this. All right, everyone, uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to update the deck list here. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I just want to let you know I did decide to put in the ill-gotten inheritance, and I took out a drill bit to do that. And the reason for that is because between drill bit and uh, carnage, I think we're going to have enough uh, hand disruption that I don't want to draw a drill bit late game when our opponent has nothing in hand. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the match. The deck list should be on the screen to your right over here. Let's see how our uh, Jun Duck does. Alright, Mr. Robert. What are we going to be playing against? This hand looks fantastic. As I say sarcastically. But we do have all our colors, so I'm going to keep this. We're drawing off the top of our deck, and we want to make sure we hit every single land we can. Um, sarcastically, of course. We don't want to draw all lands off the top of our deck. Alright, Cult Mage is pretty good. Target player discards a card, or deal one damage to target creature or player. No, target opponent or planeswalker. Misread that there. Alright, I think I'm going to lead with a mountain here. Kind of hide that we're what we're doing. And then next turn I'm going to play out the Gruul Spellbreaker. That's a 4-4. Not another Cult Mage. Nice. Actually, so I'm going to lead on the Infiltrator. And the reason for that is because I want to sack it next turn to our Scavenger. So we'll see what our opponent does first. Hopefully he doesn't kill our Infiltrator. If they do kill our Infiltrator, we'll probably just run out the Spellbreaker here. Alright, this is going to do a couple points of damage to us. They could have Skier. Yeah, it looks like that's what it is. 
and then they're gonna deal two. So this is a smart play from our opponent, deal one to us. All right, now we have a city's embrace, which this card's gonna be really good paired with uh, Gruel Spellbreaker. All right, so we're gonna give it a plus one, plus one counter, and now hopefully it survives all our opponent's removal. Hopefully they don't have a city's demise of their own. Another cult mage. Some uh, impressive, uh, impressive drafting from our opponent. So I think I just run out the rubble recluse here and just keep dying creatures on our opponent side. Target opponent, sacrifice creature. So this gains, uh, we gain hexproof. So anything like an Undercity's uh, Blessing would be pretty good here. Undercity's uh, Embrace, not Blessing. So if I attack, do I lose next turn? 2, 4, 6, that hits us down to 9. Oh, we're one short. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start with the attack from the Rubble Master. Rubble Belt. <laughs> yeah, I, com I combined Rubble Belt with uh, Rabble Master. My bad. All right, so our opponent's going to take some damage here. Uh, we're going to play out this Blade Juggler. And... Now we're going to hold up this Seize Embrace. We'll probably fire it off at the end of our opponent's next turn. They're going to try and deal one damage to us, but that's not going to work because of our Gruel Spellbreaker. I think they tried to do that last turn, too, and missed the opportunity. These Cult Mages have to be activated on our opponent's turn if they want to play them. Alright, so that's a pretty good card. The opponent makes a 5-5. So I'm going to cast the Undercities on our opponent. We're going to gain 4 life, and our opponent is going to sack a creature. Hmm. So there's two plays I'm thinking about here. We have to attack with the Recluse. But we could also play the Gruel Spell Master and next or in this turn attack with a six six. Uh, I think we're just gonna start by attacking with the Recluse. We'll see what our opponent does. This is deal two damage to one or two targets, okay. So we're going to play out the Scavenger here and sack the Blade Juggler, making a 5-5. Five five. I don't think I want the Open the Gates. The Carnage isn't that bad, especially with our opponent's board. We're going to put the Carnage on top. We'll put the Open Gates on the bottom. And now hopefully we just get the Slog through our opponent. They're going to get to do 2 damage to something, but our board's just a 4, 5, 6. You know, we have 15 damage on board. So if we attack, our opponent can activate this and make a 4, 6. They can also deal two damage to something, but that doesn't do anything. Deal two damage. All right, just activate it if our opponent has a. All right, so I think I'm swinging in with these. I think I'm leaving back the spellbreaker again. And even if they block. Uh, with the shaman here 
I'm gonna be able to kill it with the carnage. And then I can play out like a blade juggler if I want. Okay. Or our opponent's just not gonna. I kind of want to play out the Blade Juggler and try and draw another land. The safer play would be to play out the Gruul Spellmaster. I think that's what we're going to do here. And riot it. Give it a plus one, plus one. Alright, that, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. So they're going to return a Cultivator. Okay. Or a, a cult. I can't see their graveyard. A cult guild mage. I don't know why I called that a cultivator. Um, Alright, so they're going to get rid of our recluse here. A beast master will enter with a counter. And now we'll pass the turn back. we draw the land off the top, we can attack with our Wrecking Beast. We're not in a bad spot. Okay, so now... Let's think this through real quick. Wrecking Beast becomes a six or is a six six can become a nine nine with trample our opponent blocks okay let nine nine let's just say our opponent blocks here blocks here and here hellkite here this is a nine nine our opponent has to block all right I think the safer play here is to make our opponent discard two and then play with oh are you serious right now that's unfortunate the auto tapper took one of our swamps away, so we weren't able to play the Blade Juggler as a follow-up. So now what happens if we attack? A chump, a, a kill, and... Yeah, we're gonna try this. I'm really upset about that blade juggler. Alright, Hellkate's going down. And now our follow up's gonna be the Wrecking Beast, which is gonna be good. Alright, I think we have this game in the bag. Unless our opponent top decks really well. Nah, it's just a land. Alright, good game, opponent. Ah, oh, that sucked. Alright, we're gonna give it haste here. And that'll be game. Good game, Robert. After this match, we also are really excited because it looks like our vault progress. Is that 100%? So we're gonna get to open that, but we're gonna open that at the end of this stream. So stick around. Uh, not stream, but recording. So stick around, we're gonna check out the vault. All right. Um, I feel like this hand is keepable, but we have to draw like our, our red source. So we're going to keep it, and hopefully we can find a red source. Our opponent took a mulligan down to six. 
and they put the card on bottom. So we're going to start with a swamp. Alright, that's another green source. That's not quite what we're looking for. But it's at least a fourth mana, so we can play the scavenger on turn four. And then follow up with an imp. Alright, that was pretty good also. So we're going to attack for one and play this slinger. Would have rather played the uh, spellbreaker there, but what you going to do? A lot of times in limited, it's harder to control your mana, so. Our opponent's name is Selvana. Selvala. Selvala. Alright, they have a Death Touch here, which is fine. So I'm going to start by attacking with the Rubble Slinger. I was trying to bait that out of our opponent because we don't want our Death Toucher around when we play the Scavenger. And since we don't have any red uh, sources right now, we're just going to sack it. Alright, there's a red source, and I... I guess Goblin Hide's not bad. It can become a 4... A 4-3? I don't know. I think it's too slow. All right, we're playing against uh, white, black, red, so some Mardu action going on here. I think Plague Right is fine. All right, Cult uh, Mage is fine. So we're gonna start with an attack. Uh, then we're gonna play this tap and play the Imp. I'm gonna take our opponent's Death Toucher. And we're going to gain two life. And now we have a flyer and a 5-5 five five on the ground, so we're in a pretty good spot. We also get to play out this Gruel Spellbreaker next turn. Alright, we'll see what our opponent does. Alright, this attack is fine. If we're racing our opponent, we're definitely winning. So our opponent's tapped out, so I'm just going to move the combat and swing. If our opponent had mana up, I would have played Spellbreaker first. And given everything hexproof. So our opponent can make a trade here if they want for Artist, Guild Mage, and Right. Looks like they're not going to. Now we play the 4 4. And now we just have our opponent on their back legs. So hopefully our opponent wasn't trying to play cult or use uh, guild mages ability because like our last opponent all right looks like they're in a triple block the scavenger here why would they do that unless they have caravan in hand which is a possibility unless they thought uh Wraith's ability works if they block okay they have score all right that's all fine Ooh, they had another destroyer creature. Alright, our opponent is at 10 though, so. Is this a single card or is that a double faced? Okay, it's a single card. So our opponent's empty handed. I think they scribe to the top. Alright, so we are winning the race, and our opponent's gonna have a hard time, I think, finding a flyer if I'm not mistaken. All right, Lumbering Beast is an issue, potentially. All right, if this is on the stack, they can't activate the old mage. So six, that's a three turn clock. We have to find at least a blocker. All right, so I'm not gonna stack. 
here. Alright, so if our opponent attacks, I'm just going to take it. And the reason for that is because we have Cultivate and Caravan. Okay, we didn't draw it. We also have a bunch of raid cards, so I'm surprised our opponent attacked here. Oh my goodness. I punted there. You guys can all call me out on that punt. Hopefully we don't lose now because of that. Are we going to lose because of our punt? I didn't realize I had Vigilance. I haven't seen this card a lot in uh, Limited. It's a powerful card. Alright, we got a Riot here. Uh, draw a creature. Okay, we're not dead. If our opponent finds a removal spell, we're dead. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we punted, so this is all or nothing here. Oh no, we made a mistake and now we're paying for it. Uh, good game, opponent. I hit attack all instead of just with this imp. Oh no. Good game. It goes to show you need to be paying attention to everything you're doing. It's weird because when the Vigilance guys attack, uh, we still have this Vault Progress up here. Uh, when the Vigilance guys attack, they, they tap slightly, but then they like untap. Maybe I'm just making excuses. Alright, we have all our colors of mana. We have a great hand. We're going to keep this. Alright, we're going to start with this Gruel Guild Gate. And now I'll play the Forest. And a Swamp and a Spellbreaker. Now whatever our opponent... Oh, our opponent's just going to concede. Okay. That feels pretty uh, pretty good for us. Uh, while we're waiting for our next opponent to load, a huge shout out to all our sponsors. We have Manatraders.com at the top of your screen. Uh, we also have Inked Gaming, which is uh, we're affiliated with them. And we also have all our uh, patrons on our Patreon page. So thank you guys so much for supporting our content and what we do here at Crocodile MTG. And I highly recommend all our viewers going and checking them out. They are a wonderful group of people. And every single person that supports us here at the channel is absolutely amazing. Uh, Mana Traders I've used personally for years before I even started Crocodile MTG. And now that they're being a sponsor for us is just honestly amazing and fantastic. It just goes to show that they can give back to the Magic the Gathering community. Uh, so we are going to keep this hand. Uh, we're going to be able to turn two Plague. Our, our hand's a little, you know, heavy on creatures, but I think overall it's a decent hand. As long as we can uh, ramp up. Not really ramp up, but get to our uh, late game mana. Alright, so we're going to start with the Black Source. Our opponent's playing some sort of blue, probably blue-green. Could also be blue-white. Alright, it is blue white. Alright, a petitioner here. So that one's not gonna affect us here. We're gonna be able to play you know, play great. Uh, next turn we have the choice of using like the Ender City's Blessing or just playing out this Gateway Plaza. We'll see what our opponent does though. They probably just attack with this petitioner. Our opponent did mulligan down the 6, I'm pretty sure, at the beginning of the game. Alright, Gruel Spell Breaker. So we're going to start by attacking. If our opponent blocks, the Plague kills the Petitioner. Okay. So I think we just play out the Plaza here. Our opponent's going to mill us for one, it looks like. 
This is going to be really good uh, with the Gruul Spellbreaker next turn. That mountain would have been nice. Because then our petitioner is not going to, the petitioner is not going to be able to mill us at the end of the turn. They have to decide uh, what they want to do. So Plague Rate's going to be able to attack through both these creatures. Because if it gets blocked by the Savant, the Savant just dies. And then if the petitioner blocks it, the petitioner just dies. Uh, so I'm going to start by attacking here. And then I'm going to play the Gruul Spellbreaker. And give it a counter. And now our Undercity's Embrace also deal or gains us full life. So I think we're in a really good spot here. I'm assuming our opponent either is looking for a removal spell or they have another land off this they don't okay all right so we're gonna start by attacking and we'll see what our opponent's play is if it's anything impactful i can play out either of our removal spells uh but i think yeah i was gonna say i think we're just gonna get in here and then i'm gonna play the rubble recluse Our opponent's not going to be able to use the petitioners here, which I don't think they realize. Our opponent got a little bit unlucky. They uh, didn't find their mana sources, and now their board's just kind of dying quickly. We curved out pretty well there. I think that opening hand was fine to keep. Uh, the Plague Rate was really the main card in there that I was looking at. And then the Rubble Recluse and the Beastmaster. We just drew gas from that on. Alright. Uh, I want to kill our opponent this turn. So this becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, they block 3, 7, 8, 9. They go down to 1. Alright. I'm just going to attack our opponent here. They're going to have to double block and we'll kill him next turn. Or I guess I could have just demised and embraced. We'll see if uh, we can get a block in here. Our opponent has priority right now, so... Alright, so we're going to be able to respond here. Ooh, cancel. Alright. We're going to be able to respond here and actually win the game. Oh, exile target creature, sorry. Good game, opponent. Uh, we had a pretty gas draw, and our opponent wasn't able to find their mana, which is kind of rough for them. But the Clues and uh, Rebel Master. Alright. Overall, I'm kind of impressed how this deck uh, played out. I'm pretty happy with it. It seems like we're drawing a lot of uh, decent, um, a decent fluctuation of cards. I was worried about kind of how many black cards we had in our deck, but it seems like we're hitting our mana. Okay. Again, we have all our mana sources. We have a blade juggler and a drill bit, and a uh, rust about. I think we just keep this. We're not going to be able to play anything until turn three, but I think it'll be worth it. Just being able to play this rust about and guaranteed to get in for an extra damage and then being able to play a blade juggler i just think that's super powerful what we can actually do next turn is when we get in for one cast drill bit and blade juggler which is going to be super relevant here all right i think i want to do that play i was just talking about I want to drill bit our opponent. We're going to lose um, our Rakdos rest about, but being able to enable drill bit and uh, the blade juggler, I just think that's too powerful. Alright, so what do we want to take here? Our opponent's down to th three. 
life. Uh, they're going to be able to drill bit us if we let them. I think it might just be to take the drill bit. I'm going to take the drill bit here. Blade juggler. We have another mana for next turn. So then we can swing out with blade juggler. Our opponent probably plays the noxious here. Unless they drew a, uh, another spell. Or if they play the uh, bankrupt. Alright, pontiff here. That's a pretty good card. And that's an even better card. Alright, so we're going to start by moving the combat. And we're going to wait till after our opponent sacks a creature. And then we're going to follow up with this uh, goblin. Yeah, I just feel like that was so much value for us. We're just two for one for our opponent's creature. Our opponent's going to get a 2-3 here, which is a little, little awkward. Uh, this can survive the attack. Uh, Blade Juggler cannot. So our opponent's going to trade here. Um, I think I want this Ilgotten Inheritance down with how uh, this board state's playing out. And this also enables... Uh, it enables uh, Spectacle every turn, which is going to be good for us. And then next turn we can also... Uh, I don't know, I'm one mana off here. Alright, so our opponent's gonna draw three here. Probably looking for another land and then playing. Okay, they have a different death pressure. Alright, cool spellbreaker here is really good. I'm gonna start by moving to combat. Right, we'll just trade here. Ahead of myself. Alright, we'll play the Spellbreaker here, getting in a counter, and then we'll play our Juggler. Alright, Open the Gates wasn't the best draw there. Alright, our opponent's at 6 mana. They probably, I assume, play out the Grasping Thrall here. I could see reasons not to, though. Alright, they're just gonna destroy our spell break here. Alright, this is all fine. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna take the Gateway Plaza here and just pay for it. Alright, I'm gonna attack for three. Our opponent definitely is getting ahead, but it doesn't take much to get us back into this game. We have a couple of big creatures that hopefully get to come down. They're probably going to play Thrall. Yeah. That was a good curve out for our opponent. Watch for little moments like that, especially if you're playing the Lockets. Uh, see if you can play a locket and also. Alright, we're just kind of flooding out here. This isn't great for us. It's one of the disadvantages of not running a locket. Alright, we're both at 12.
now we're at eight. Our opponent getting ahead on board. Another thrall. Yeah, it looks like our opponent's gonna win this one. We just kind of got uh, mana flooded there. All right, we got an imp, which is the start of uh, a blocking force. I'm gonna leave this card in hand though. All right, I'm gonna take. I guess this obligary. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing names. Pontiff. Obligation. I don't know why I said obligary. All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn back. All right, we'll see what our opponent does here. All right, I think I think our opponent's just ahead at this point. I'm gonna block here, but I don't think it does much. Now they have their own ill-gotten. We're just gonna just negate each other each turn. All right. Uh, yeah, we just draw lands. I don't think we're. Gonna, I don't think there's any way we can win this. Our opponent just swings everything. We'll at least force our opponent to kill us. We go down to three, we block, we use ill-gotten inheritance, and then they just use an ill-gotten inheritance. Right. And that's just not gonna negate each other. Did our opponent not see that? That I could just ill-gotten inheritance back? I wonder if they attack you. Alright, yeah, I don't have any. I'll let them attack me. There's some satisfaction in just hitting your opponent. Yeah, good game, opponent. Some G Wilt taking us down. Alright, now this is sudden death. We have uh, four more potential wins. Or if we get uh, taken down, we just uh, we lose. But we get to open our vault, so stick around. Make sure you don't uh, miss out on that. All right, all the cards. We're gonna keep this. We have an aggressive hand, so I'm I'm feeling potentially good about this. All right, black. We're gonna start with the plague because that's the one that takes down most of the turn two blockers. See if our opponent has a uh, judgment. Is that what it's called? Like judgment days or something? I don't remember. The one that deals three, and if it's uh, if it's tap, deal three. If it's uh, addendum, if it's your turn, and the creatures tap, deal five. It's something judgment. Our opponent on another black-white deck. I'm hoping we can just, uh... Oh, an Esper deck. Probably Esper Flyers. Alright, we're just taking five to take out our rule. So I think I want to play Ill-Gotten Inheritance here. Uh, next turn I'll play the Imp. Unless we draw a land. If we draw a land, I'm going to play Blade Juggler and Goblin. Just because it's more damage. Alright, we didn't draw our land. So I'm going to start by attacking to see if they want to trade. Alright, they do want to trade. Alright, they get the Afterlife one. Uh, then I'll just play two. Uh, the reason I'm not worried about playing the Blade Juggler right now is because Ill-Gotten Inheritance gets to uh, turn on Spectacle every single turn. 
So next turn we can play Juggler and Goblin, and we don't even have to attack if we don't want to. I'm hoping this is just enough where our opponent's not going to be able to recover. Our opponent could have a removal spell here. If any of the people we're playing against you know them in real life or you know who they are, uh, go ahead and give them a shout out either on Twitter or you know link them to this video. Just let them know like, hey, you're on uh, Crocodile MTG's page. Just in case they want to go back and look at that or something. I'm assuming they sack here, yeah, and scry too. I still think we're very far ahead. We're dealing three each turn, two here and one here. We double. We have to draw a black man if we're gonna play both out. Right, you're a red mana, but we still get to play goblin here, which is good. And now I think we're just going too wide for our opponent. Our opponent takes one down the six next turn, and then we play, or we attack with imp and goblin and juggler. Um, if they don't play anything here, they block juggler. I'm just going to take the damage. I don't think really anything they can play, even if it's Spectacle, I don't think it's going to be enough to hurt us. They have to have, like, I was going to say, they have to have Swamp and, like, Kaya's Judgment to actually kind of reset a little bit, but even then we have the Ill-Gotten. So if they play something and they have, like, one or maybe two blockers, we still deal two to them deal one here and then we can deal four so that's actually enough for lethal yeah i think that's dead here. all right they're gonna block here but then i can activate ill gottens then all right good game opponent i'm not sure if they saw that or maybe they just made a mistake by attacking all right we're not dead yet uh once again guys go check out all our sponsors for the uh, channel we have manatraders.com the number one car in my opinion the best card rental service on the mtg market uh, you can rent a bunch of cards there, tabletop or um, or digital. Uh, we play MTGO. We literally rent every single deck we play on there um, through uh, Mana Traders. So I'd highly recommend go uh, checking them out. Uh, all our patrons, anything you donate. If you want to support the Crocodile MTG channel, you can uh, check it out. Uh, we're going to have awards here soon. Uh, that way I can give you guys kind of something back. Like If you guys are giving me something, I want to be able to give you something. Uh, I just think it's fair. If you want to support my content creation, I want to be giving back to the community as well. In more than just content. Uh, we're working on getting a, a token right now. So I'll let you guys know when that's up. I think this hand's fine to keep. We have all our colors and we have Plague Right. Uh, we also have Ink Gaming up there. I didn't want to leave them out. Uh, they have all a bunch of different uh, play mats. You can get them either custom made or they also have a shop where other people make play mats. Uh, go check them out as well. Um, both Mana Traders and Crocodile MTG have some promo codes up at the top of the screen. Uh, so if you want to check them out and if you decide you want to, you know, either invest in a new play mat or buy a new play mat uh, with Ink Gaming, you can save 10% with my promo code. And if you want to sign up for Mana Traders, you get 15% uh, off, I think, uh, your first month for signing up and trying it out. And then uh, if you decide you don't like it, you can cancel at any time. You don't have to continue. It's not like a year subscription. Uh, but honestly, I think you guys are going to absolutely love Mana Traders. So I definitely just, uh, would check them out if you play MTGO or if you even play Tabletop. Alright, I'm going to start by attacking here. I don't think our opponent's going to block. And if they don't block, we're going to play uh, Blade Juggler. All 
What we could have done is also play drill bit, uh, drill bit there, but I think we can save drill bit for a turn. Thank you guys also for tuning in and watching my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to expand the Crocodile MTG channel a little bit. So we do like competitive and constructed on MTGO typically, uh, but we're looking to do a little bit of uh, some more arena, either uh, drafts or some standard play there. Uh, we just think the platform's a little more um, kind of viewer friendly and a little bit more fun to watch. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you like this idea if you prefer the constructed i really want to make my content based on what the viewers like uh, so if you don't like something just let me know if they swing in here with the hybrid i'm definitely blocking with the juggler do it do it swing in I think they're waiting to see if we respond, like if we move our mouse over our blade juggler or something. Alright, they decided not to. Alright, so we have an interesting play here. We can either swing or we can play Ghoul Master. Or we can also play Scavenger. I think we start by attacking. And then I think we follow up with a Scavenger. Or if for some reason we have an unfavorable block or a favorable block, we can uh, play the Undercity's Blessing or the Drill Bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Drill Bit is... Uh... Drill Bit's not the one I was thinking of. Alright, I'm fine with this. Alright, so now we're just going to play out the Beastmaster. Right. See what our opponent's play is here. If they have a removal spell, we can just, you know, removal spell back with Drill Bit. I mean, not Drill Bit, us. Uh, Under Cities Embrace. Keep messing up the name. Evil Morty. I didn't realize our opponent's name here. So Sky Teether wasn't. I don't know. I don't think it's that great here. I guess we can just. Hopefully we don't get quenched here. It doesn't look like our opponent is playing a counter spell. Alright, so I don't want this land. Do I even want this Goblin Traveler? I just feel like we have better cards in our library. And we have this 5-5 five five and we can make our opponent uh, sacrifice the hybrid. Which can become a 6-6. Six six. I'm not really sure what our opponent's playing. Or plan is. Alright, so we're gonna move the combat and attack. Alright, now we just wanna drill better our opponent here. We wanna see what they have in hand. Alright, so we're gonna take their angel here. Next turn, if they uh, just uh, adapt the hybrid, we're just gonna. Um, under cities and braves which we have to do it on our turn not theirs so they're gonna get in here for six all right and we drew another black source which is pretty good all right now we're gonna blood mist so our opponent's going to be able to put these back in our hand and one on top of the, uh, our library. But I think that's okay. We have lethal on board, so I think the logical uh, play is to play their torrent here. They're going to put a card on top of our library and uh, put one of them back in our hand. Yeah. But the thing is here, we're going to draw the scavenger. So I think our play is just... 
you know, Infiltrator, sack it to Scavenger. Yeah, and then just look at the top two cards of our library. I think I want to put Undercity's Embrace on top. I want to make sure we can get in uh, next turn and hit our opponent down the five. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a removal spell here. Alright, that can be an issue. We're gonna gain two. Is this a six? Hello. Why can't I look at this? Okay, there we go. Eyes everywhere. Six. Exchange control, target permanent, activated abilities. Activate this ability only anytime you cast a sorcery. Alright, so I definitely want to do this now. Hit our opponent to five. It's a little unfortunate. Maybe I should have left Infiltrator. Alright, we want that card, so at least we're going to get some advantage here. We're going to have some life gain. I'm gonna take this angel. And hopefully we're just gonna be able to find the cards we need. Oh, that's not exactly it. Our opponent might stabilize here and take us down. We at least get the scry at the beginning of each of our turns. That's not what we're looking for. Alright, our opponent's going to quickly close this game with our own scavenger. Evil Morty is truly evil. When you play a game control deck, that's an evil card. Alright, we're going to get the hit for 8, which is half our life total. Um, if we're able to get in 1, one with carrying it, does this have reach? Alright, it doesn't have reach. Ooh, does that dip? Does that do it? You battlefield five. Ugh, that doesn't do it. All right, I'm gonna put it on top. We're gonna play it here. Their opponent's last card in hand, like quench or something. We're gonna put, give it a count. Oh no! Ugh. Oh, I thought that was gonna be enough. Our opponent with the Law Mage Binding. Alright, we have to block here and we have to block the Scavenger, unfortunately. We go down the one. I think this is gonna be it for us, guys. Uh, bottom. Last hope. Gruel Spellbreaker. Oh, that was so close. Unfortunately, not going to happen. Alright, good game opponent. Alright, now we have some Vault Progress to take a look at. So we're going to start by opening our Ravnica Allegiance pack. So let's go check out our pack here. Alright, this pack was really good. So we had we just got an uncommon wild card for a reward. We have an uncommon wild card in the pack, and we have a common wild card. And boom, we got a Lavinia. So that was pretty nice. And now let's click on our vault reward. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we get? How do we how do we how do we do this? Claim prizes. What? Oh, 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 the vault changed. The vault changed. The vault changed. Okay. So we got the wild cards. That's what the vault progress does nowadays. Uh, before, I think the vault progress was like a bunch of rares or a bunch of mythics, but um, okay. I got excited because I thought the vault progress was still cards. I didn't realize it was uh, 
it was wild cards. But the wild cards are neat, and it also gives you flexibility depending on what you want to uh, play. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you checking out the Crocodile MTG channel. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, we drafted a Jun deck. Uh, we did pretty okay with it. I wasn't completely disappointed in our uh, rank. Um, I think we went 4-3, uh, which is, you know, below average. But I don't know. Overall, it was okay. Let me know in the comments below if you uh, thought you misplayed at all, if there was something better we could have taken during the draft. And just thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out our awesome uh, sponsors and tune in to the next video because I will be there and I hope you will too. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.